Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at finding the area of similar triangles. So we have triangle ABC is similar to triangle RST with AB equal to 3 inches and RS equal to 2 inches. If the area of triangle ABC is 27 square inches, determine and state the area of triangle RST in square inches. So for this problem, the first thing we should do is get a visual of what's going on. So we draw our first triangle. We could call this triangle ABC. And we know that triangle ABC is similar to triangle RST. So one important thing to note is that since I lettered it ABC, I had to label the second triangle as RST because the letter arrangements are important when you're talking about similar triangles. So we were told that AB is equal to 3 inches and RS is equal to 2 inches. So the fact that these measurements showed up in corresponding locations, we could say that they showed up at the base of each triangle, is a good thing because we have something to work with now. And we were also told that the area of triangle ABC equals 27 square inches. And now the goal is to find the area of triangle RST. So now I recently was on a panel where we had a graded question just like this. And a lot of students made the exact same style of mistake. So it's definitely worth mentioning where they figured, oh, okay, well these two triangles are similar, so I could set up the ratio of 3 over 2 and set that equal to 27 over, and I'll call this x. And this seems like a good idea, but I'm telling you this is absolutely wrong because we are talking about area, which is a two-dimensional measurement, so we cannot simply just take this ratio as a one-dimensional measurement. We have to make use of a theorem which I'll introduce. We have, if two triangles are similar, then the ratio of their areas is the square of the ratio of their sides. So our first instinct to set up the ratio of 3 over 2 is correct, but we do need to find the square of this ratio. This represents the ratio of their sides, so from the theorem we need to square the ratio of their sides. In some classes they may call this the scale factor, which represents the ratio between the two similar triangles, but all this really does is help us get from one triangle to the other. For instance, if we take 2 and we multiply it by 3 over 2, it'll bring us to 3 in the other triangle. So it's just a way to navigate back and forth between the two similar triangles. But from our theorem, we need to find the square of the ratio of the sides. So we're taking 3 over 2 and we're going to square it. And if we multiply 3 over 2 times 3 over 2, this is equal to 9 over 4. So k squared is equal to 9 over 4. So now, back to the theorem, the ratio of their areas. Now we could set up a ratio of the areas. So we're going to compare the big triangle to the little triangle. I know I drew them somewhat identical, but we're just going to assume from the given information that ABC is the bigger triangle. So we're comparing the ratio of their areas is 27 over, and we could set this equal to X for now because we do not know the, the area of this triangle in question. And we're going to set this equal to 9 over 4. So the way that this problem started, we compared the bigger triangle to the smaller triangle, 3 over 2. So we're going to compare the area of the bigger triangle to the area of the smaller triangle. That way our ratios match up and we set up the proportion correctly. So now to solve for x, all we need to do is cross multiply. And we have 9x equals, and 27 times 4 is 108. So now to solve for x, all we need to do is divide both sides by 9. And this gives us x equals 12. So we have the area of triangle RST is equal to 12. But remember, the answer needs to be in square inches. This is an annoying way to lose a point. So make sure that you write square inches or inches to the second power like this. And we have our final answer. The area of triangle RST is 12 square inches. 
Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on finding the area of a similar triangle. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.